It was nice to meet you this morning. Especially the delay again. I, um, I've been carrying this around uh, since yesterday, and you probably recognize it. Uh, it is uh, see very similar, <laughs> except it doesn't talk; it just moves its <laughs> mouth. The Kenan, the the Lebe Pesudi, Pasu Namdo, Namnam Pevins, and then the King of the Namasu Taran and Motuguri, and the Chick de Zavakari in the King Rua, and then Kevadu Kadu Slamna, Kesia Mashimato in Batalis. Okay, so I'm going to write something in Latin, mm -hmm. which is an expression. Mm -hmm. Did you get the concept of memento mori? Mm -hmm. is, a, is a Christian concept that people, many, many scholars used to keep, uh, philosophers used to keep a skull, a real human skull, mm -hmm. on their table mm -hmm. as a reminder of mortality. Oh. <laughs> And I'm sure you have in Buddhism many, many similar things. Hmm. Uh, so, um, this is why I'm carrying this, really, mm. <laughs> because yeah. it has a beautiful model of a brain inside it. Mm -hmm. And um, remember I said before you could, you could make a brain mm -hmm. with your hands mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And that's an upside down brain. Mm -hmm. See, this would be your thumbs and this would be your fingertips in the model. You have been studying the brain and and neurons for five years now. Have you had experience with this model before? Raise your hand you... No. Oh, okay. The the Okay. So yeah. So you you know it's a good model. It had it had comes in in two parts. So you can see the the middle of the brain as well as the outside. And the Pesu Yabos is Pesu Cobatic Dandy. Do superdisha can see the Kadu Seven and Kanyi Chai or is the Lebe Dumjanita and Dumjani Nanseki, Yelada, the Zuga Tat for those yores. And you can also take off the temporal lobe. Tis any Nadup, Nadup, the air to Loga Tensores. And this, anybody know what this is inside the temporal lobe? Tigaris, Nadabu Nalogi, Tigaris, Shul Tigaris. La. Hippocampus, yeah, the, hippocampus, the, and the, that has to do it. with what starts. So that my Memory. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to uh, pass this around so you can get a feeling for how the brain sits Okay, so I'm going to 
new jetaronas. And this is a hole in the skull that leads to the spinal cord and mm. the control of the body. Okay, so everybody can get a chance to look at it and take it apart if you want. So this, this section uh, today is about cognitive neuroscientific thought. And, uh, and you know where you are and why. So I'll go on to the next slide. Are you, who's controlling this slide? It's me. Yes, if you could, that, that would be good. Oh, okay. Well, there, there we go. I, yeah. Maybe uh, I think that'll be right. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be talking about what I see in English. I yes. hope it's the same as what's yes. there. Yes. Uh, section one: What okay. is cognition? And then the ngajo tari joshi tari joshi de cognition. In general, cognition de ngajo ta thani soyo yonju ngenzi slabroa. Is a ngebe na bachengi. Cognition is the mental ability of both knowing and acquiring knowledge through thought, experience, and the senses. Cognition Yang Samshik Dang, Nyam Nyam Nyung, Nyam Nyung, Dekhaina Nyam Nyung, Oh Nyam Nyung, Wang Sur Ji Ki Ju Ne, Yu Ki Kor Shie To Je Be, Che Nyu Te, Te Nyi Ga La Sers. So, cognition is a, is kind of a fancy scientific term for thinking. That the, in Ju Samshik Che Dang Dere, Sam Lo Dang Dang Jero Ba, Samshik Che Ya Ki, Tung Dua La Sigi Ores, Ina Ji, Wang Sur Ji Ki Nang Lo Ba, Bil Ji Ki, Ming Ying Je Wo Ji Da Bores, Nge Ji Si Sen Da Bores. It's it's a little more complicated, but it's it's a yeah, okay way to think about it. Now, if you remember today, I said the the whole nervous system used to be outside the body on the surface. So the first animals that had nervous system could not think. They sense things in the world. They sense light, they sense smells, they sense sounds. And they had reactions that they could do on the world. So there's the actions which are done by the motor neurons mm -hmm. that you studied. Mm -hmm. And there's the sensations that you studied in vision, hearing, sense of touch and pain and temperature. Sensations so, 
Now we're going to move to this. And we're going to see well, what, what, what happened. We're going to do a little experiment. Because what happened in the history of evolution and the history of life mm -hmm. was more and more neurons got put between the senses and the actions. And even a, a mouse, like Sonia studies, or a, a, a monkey, has some thinking ability. But humans really have minds and very, very big brains that, that are the basis of our mind. Problem is that the mind does not always reflect exactly what the senses see or hear or perceive. Okay, so I'm going to show you now a series of photographs and try to form in your mind an exact Photographic image of what you see on the screen and remember it. So, so the chariot is what the chariot de Gangla Carisi, but the Chimachi Shingi, any Sam Nanola, Party of Nashingi, any Chambazi Nyatu, a Kashinaro Nas. Here we go. That part thing is oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's the exit? Okay, that's it. Four pictures. You remember them. You have a photographic image. Okay, so you have you should have a worksheet with just a rectangle. Oh. See a blank except for rectangle. So, inside, inside that rectangle, those four lines, you're going to draw something that you remember. From the pictures I showed. I'm going to tell you what to draw. So, draw a picture inside those lines, what you remember, exactly what you remember of the picture that, the photo that has something to do with noodles. Mm -hmm. just, just the one picture that has noodles in it, you draw as much as, as you can remember in those in that box, inside oh. the box. Okay. 
Just supposed to be the basic representation of the photograph. Yeah. With the noodles in it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Carry Tom, but the remote It should be within the rectangle. Oh. Okay, are we ready? Uh, this time, ba? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. That's what you might yell. That's what you might yell. But they might yell. I'm just out there. So you can look at look at each other's drawings and see if they're similar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it. <coughs> It's good. It's a good experiment because I see uh, a common theme, and I'll show you what the actual picture you saw was. What is different <laughs> between this and what you drew? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank what did, what, is it, what did you draw that, that's not the same? Yeah. So it's different. Ask him. Anybody want to show? Oh. He says the handle is much longer than it is here. Ah, yes. Yeah, so. In this picture, you only see part of the fork. And the fork is cut uh, off a little bit over here. And, 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 and the handle is not there. So ra raise your hand if you drew the whole handle. Yeah, so a lot of people drew the whole, the whole fork. Even though you didn't see the whole fork. So, this is this is extremely common. These are <coughs> examples of what people draw. But if you draw, you can draw another rectangle inside that represents what you actually saw. Right. So, the boundaries of this picture that you saw are much smaller than the boundaries of the picture that most of you drew. This, this is a very common psychological phenomenon. There's nothing unusual about what you did. In fact, Sonia did it too. Do you mind showing? So, here's what Sonia drew, the whole fork, and then she put the rectangle. It's not, it's not because you're Tibetan or because you're monks or it's just because you have a human brain. So this 
This, this phenomenon, the very common, almost universal phenomenon, is called boundary extension. Uh, boundary extension and it shows us it's one of many many examples that shows us that the the mind is not a camera the mind is taking the original picture and changing it in a certain way. And the way is is called boundary extension. Because you take this this part of the fork and you fill in the rest of the fork and that's what the mind does with the incomplete picture. And the kanda rabuji na kanda ki remote thoma di junse ki ani ngushi chaga duju ani di chala thoma matom ine kyangse chigres. So this this is called a latent construct. That's a complicated word for something that's hidden. Mm-hmm. In your mind, that's not on, not on the picture. Mm-hmm. And it's not called boundary extension. It's called boundary extension. So let's look uh, at another example of boundary extension. So here's a photograph. photograph that you saw, and when people are asked to do what you did to draw this, they draw this. You'll see the whole garbage can, <laughs> this whole garbage can and you see the top of the fence, and you'll even see the sky above the fence. So how do we think about this as scientists in order to study it? We want to know why it happens. We want to know does everybody do it, or most people? Uh, is there anything special about the people who do it? Does it is it different be- between old guys like me and young people like you? Is it different with children? There are a lot of things that you could study, which is called manipulating the the independent variable or manipulating the conditions. Is that the Tony? So here is a very simple example of the scientific process. Which which you are going to apply in some way in your capstone project. But it's not going to be this particular phenomenon or measure of boundary extension. 
It will be something different. We'll get to that. You know, you know, that is just a city. That 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 is just a Tanzanian region. Ground and the way you are able to win Google Mare, Jushi Shimbat and the way you are able to win Google Mare, Jushi Shimbat and the way you are able to win Google Mare. So here is something called a cognitive conceptual model. Mila, cognitive conceptual models, the grace, Nenzingi, Doctor Pesuks, Nenzingi, Yula, Karich Hagi, Yebe, and Chaluki, Pesu, Chungi Yoris. Here's the picture you saw. Here's the picture most people drew. And in between is the mind. Right? And the mind here is shown as a black box. So, as a scientist, you try to put forward a, a hypothesis or an idea about what it is inside the black box that makes this transformation. ในตอนเดลิจิละชิมจุเชโกชิมจุเชโกชุงนะไอ้ชิมจุเชโกดูดูอันนี้ทอมเมนในตอนพักกีตาอันนี้ทอมเมนรังกีทีชาเบลนี
Kelagi and Dr. Kruger was a, uh, a doctoral student at, at the time that he was there. And he was a very wise man, very smart, always learning right up until he was 80 or 90 years old. And for most of his career, he drew pictures like this about what, what people thought was happening in the mind. So, and these are called models of the mind. Or cognitive models. Uh, and he said, I heard one of his last lectures. And he said, you know, in the future, we are not going to draw pictures like this anymore. <coughs> Because, because in the future, the model of the mind will be, who has it? Hold it up. In, uh, take out the brain. <laughs> He said, in, in the future, as we learn more and more about the brain, we'll draw pictures of the brain to show how this has changed into that. So here's an example of that. <coughs> You're looking at the picture that's cut off the boundaries, and there, there are two things that are shown here. One is the pathway from the eye to the visual cortex. You all, you all studied the visual system, right? <laughs> Yeah, they So this is just the perception that goes from the retina through the optic nerve into the optic tract to the occipital cortex where the primary vision cortex is. Chene <laughs> You have that part, which is the perception, and then you have the memory. And this is, this is what you would have drawn if the memory was just like the perception. If it was an exact photograph. Uh, 
Timber of Jim, Madu, Nanola, Caritin, do Labdu, when a charging Tom and charging Cari, but teach machines in Tiku Chigras. So here's an example of an experiment that you could do. Time of the day, any Tajiki, Pesunchik, and this year is. You could form a hypothesis that that it would make a difference if if there was a delay between when you saw the picture and made the drawing. And so here you see the visual scene comprehension in both places. And you see the motor commands in both places. But because there's a delay on this side, let's say you spend 30 seconds doing a mantra or trying to remember what you had for breakfast or mm -hmm. the question is you have, then you have memory retrieval in between mm. depending on how long the delay is you have some type of memory mm -hmm. that has to work to produce the output which you didn't have, you didn't have memory retrieval to speak of there. Uh, you're just doing it immediately. Gujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,Tagujukatasidugala,T
Maybe, so we had, we had no delay really. You drew immediately yeah. after seeing the picture. Thinking of the moment, the TV couple, Pizzi Goto Yeba, the Goto Mebanis and the Goto Mea, the Impasso Chasmas, Teba, the Antish Tiba. Any remotive in that and the TV Nalola, so any Lunda Chasama TV in a young Carsore, Carsore, to see Namore and Allah Tazan Yang Mindua. Remon Tazan Yang Dua. Then we could have a hypothesis that if we put a delay in where you do something else for a minute, like have a conversation uh, about when am I going to get out of this class. Uh, <laughs> And maybe we, we would find that nobody drew it the way they saw it. 100% drew it with the hand. So that's a, the hypo one hypothesis. If you do no delay like we did, there would be a few people who drew it the way they saw it with no boundary extension. Mm -hmm. And now we could hypo make a hypothesis that if we put a delay in, nobody will get it right. You could also make a different hypothesis, which would be that there will be no difference. Or there's a third hypothesis. Which is that the, the delay for some reason would make you more accurate. You might have a theory about the mind or the brain. The theory could say, could predict that, that the delay will make it worse. Or, or that there would be no difference. Theory of what's going on in the brain. And the Tombashana, same Gilesu, Susan Samantan Gilesu, she says, and Tombashana, and he no junior woman is as it. And I know you would say, or that this would be more accurate with the delay for some reason. That the brain has has had time to process it and preserve the original. So these are different theories about different hypotheses coming from different ideas about how the brain does it. So this is the scientific process. We have the, the observation, that's the drawing with the boundary extension. And we're, 
And we're thinking with the question mark, you know, what, what are the conditions that are going to cause the boundary extension or not? And so, and so, the, that's the question, and the hypothesis is, if there is no time delay, there will be no boundary extension. So you do the experiment where we say we divide the room in half, and this half the room has a delay, and this half of the room has no delay. That's an experiment. Mm. And then we see if there's a different number of people doing the boundary extension or not. So just think about whether you would, whether you think if you had no time delay, you could draw this without a boundary extension and it would look just like this photo. We won't take the time to do that, but so what, one, of the, one of the manipulations is a time delay. What, what could be another one? ちむじしんよんだまよんだでらたじちゃやぎえにせせかそれたじちゃやぎなにちねたんさわろしょやろわねねたんみだろしょやでらちぎてつじえにごれやよぶじだまごべじきけばしゃあてちゃんえにけば
And then the difference could be in the attention training they may have, may or may not have had. The atten the attention training. The attention training. Yeah. You could have a training program in attention, and then uh -huh. see in attention and see see if people get better. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> Nietzsche <laughs> Yeah, and also there may be a difference in how you present the pictures. Uh, in, instead of just saying, look at the picture, you could have said, make sure you pay attention to everything in it. Or, in, or if you just say, right. look at the picture, Very then good. we have a tendency of just uh, zooming into what the main important is instead of everything. So there so may we be We can difference. give instructions differently to yes, the two yes, groups yes, yes. and make sure that one group understands that they really have to pay attention yes, to yes, and yeah. see if that makes a difference. What, what, if, what, if, what if this... Yeah, go ahead. What if this... Yeah, go ahead. What if this... 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 What if this was a drawing instead of a photo? it may. So How do we think about this? We do these different kinds of, of manipulations and uh, think about circumstances where it would occur or maybe not occur. Manipulations. Uh, so there, there might be something missing here, but we're, we're going to uh, try and manipulate something and we're going around in a circle, we have a thought about, about what would happen, we make a hypothesis, we design an experiment to do the comparison and then we make measurements to, um, to see what the result is, to see if our hypothesis was right or wrong. Okay, so then there's a question of whether it would, it would happen with all types of images, with all types of pictures. So we can also ask different kinds of questions like here are we here? Is it due to a tendency to remember complete objects? Now this is these two are not the same here, I'm so getting a little confused. But here's Here's the experiment mm -hmm. about, is it due to wanting to have complete objects? Mm -hmm. I mean, most of you wanted to have a complete fork. Mm -hmm. And in this example, when people do this, they want to have a complete garbage can and mm -hmm. a complete fence. They don't want to have it cut off. Mm -hmm. 
Non è un problema. 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 Non ปัตเตยกิเรมคอเรนนอนลุเลคาริเยเบเนเนซิดุซุกังกาอะเรเปริดุซุกังกาชาซานเยเบจิกิเรมเตมเบนะอันติชิชานเอเนเนจิกาด
so he's hypothesizing that it may have to do with what you're seeing is familiar to you or not, already familiar to you or not. Similar to? Familiar. Familiar. Yeah, oh, oh, what, oh. What, what you're seeing is already familiar to you or not. If it is already familiar, you already have a picture somewhere in your brain from previous observation. And then you may give in to the tendency of expanding on that because you have some kind of a, <coughs> some kind of a familiarity with that. If okay. it were to be a totally new thing, uh, then you, have, you don't have that resource to draw from. And then it might be a little different. Very interesting. So if, if this wasn't something that we all have seen, mm -hmm. that let some, let's say it was uh, uh, more, something more exotic, mm -hmm. uh, something like a picture of animals in Africa or, mm -hmm. or, or something that we don't see very often, mm -hmm. Maybe that would be a, a, a way of manipulating, of doing an experiment to find out if, if his hypothesis is right, mm -hmm. that it's about familiarity mm -hmm. uh, and wanting to, to get the familiar picture. Mm -hmm. What is another possibility? Oh, you got a translation. Yeah. Tangi this is a, the last slide in this section. Oh, you have another idea? Let yes. me hear Come another on. idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he says that we might not be able to generalize like this, that this is something universal, common to everyone, because we may differ, we very often differ in our, uh, in our uh, stability of memory, how stable our memories are or not, and how much of a tendency we have in paying attention, how detailed we are in terms of our, our nature of looking at things. So based on right. that, it may uh, produce a different result. Very possible. But remember, the, the mistakes are in one direction. Mm -hmm. They're not in all different directions. Mm -hmm. Ngamadita Mm. They didn't show two forks with noodles. They and, and this this these these changes don't you don't have three garbage cans mm. in the drawing. Mm -hmm. Or, or in this drawing, even but though they you have a pile been, of garbage. They shall have been a guinea looks up at your sum sorrow, right? You pick pagay ni le manga sum tibus sorrow. Did they dig those? So it's not, it's not just random 
inaccuracy, not just random mistakes. So, as I said, I, oh, we're going to finish now, but I, I always think about, uh, we, we, time's up, right? Yeah, so, so, uh, time is up. I always think about evolution, how, how did something come about? Mm -hmm. And uh, a, a Christian or a Jewish person who believes in a creator God might say, why did God put this in the mind to make it? to make this systematic mistake. I think about evolution. Why did it evolve? What good was it? And one, I, one thought that I have, it's just a thought, is that it's good for us to see the big picture. Mm. It's good for us to have an image in our minds of a bigger picture that will enable us to navigate. This, this is a very limited picture and this is a bigger one. This is a, a still a limited picture, and this is a bigger one. We're trying to form always images in our minds that are even bigger than what we're able to see and, and to interpret the world in a more expansive way. That would be my guess. <laughs> Uh ye so we spend a lot of time on this. Did, did I go too slowly today? So the idea of focusing on this mm -hmm. is that you have to do experiments mm -hmm. for your final project. And the call do sung the Tajik to the Maris member chain any social damage among which had what? And you remember the slide that shows the circle of science. You make an observation. Then you think, why did this happen? Right? Number, two, number three, you make a hypothesis about why does it happen. Number four, you, you create an experiment that will enable you to tell whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. And then you find out, is it right or wrong? And if it's right from your measurements, you say, aha, 
I know. I know why this happens. Jenny, in the Chugu Taman do the Ted Jay and do, Dr. Tome, Tesha Jay with the Queen Rata Duguina, that's the Cassian, Dr. Risha Chenaveris. But if it's wrong, what do you do? No, you're not Cassioris. You go around and around and around until you get the answer. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Elen Tata Marabo, the Tajan, you and you chair this, and to just.